1998 Lexus ES300 four door you have a six cylinder so that would be a V6 3000 4 cam 24 we're gonna talk about the firing order if you were to pull if you wanted to do your spark plugs pull the coil packs off and yank the wiring without knowing or accidentally uh, messing up the firing order the things you'll need you'll need a hand rag you will need a 5 8 socket to remove the spark plug you will need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolts I'll walk you through it you will need a 5 millimeter L wrench possibly a swivel a couple extensions I have three of them and a ratchet since I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the spark plugs I went ahead and grabbed some NGKs they're about three dollars and 24 cents at a AutoZone uh, when you get them ask them the gap size if they say they come pre-gap don't trust pre-gap gap them yourself so you know it's gapped correctly there's a new spark plug and you will need a gapper first thing you're gonna do is uh, disconnect your battery the positive you're gonna go ahead and uh, use your L wrench you're gonna go on an owl wrench bolt, which is one and two. You put the owl wrench in, which I'm sure you know what to do. Owl wrench in, left loose, right tight. So left loose on two screws. Once you take those two screws loose, and of course you're sure that they are loose, you're gonna try to pop this up and it's gonna feel a little stuck like something is wrong. You're gonna get your hand from behind and gently move it around and you're gonna it's gonna pop not a pop but more like a tight wedge just boom and it'll pop up place that somewhere where you will not step on it all right for the sake of a faster video I went ahead and pre removed loosened bolts and etc etc your next step is you're gonna get your 10 millimeter you're gonna put it on your ratchet and there's gonna be these 10 millimeter bolts which of course like I said I had removed so there's these 10 millimeters here's your 10 millimeter it's on left loose right tight put your screw somewhere where you know you're not gonna lose them that's all that 10 millimeter is gonna be used for then you have a tab here you squeeze this tab and it's gonna be really rough to pull it off so please be careful now keep in mind these tabs and plastics that are connected like a tab here is connected they can break and most likely they will because the heat the fluctuating temperature of the engine being hot and then the cold weather back and forth these become very brittle so it's not something you've done it's just what comes with this uh this plastic so you'll disc oh instead of starting on three you did you remove the bolt or let's start on this one remove the tab you're going to come across you're going to look at this elbow you're going to lift your finger and you're going to pull it outwards so you're going to pull it out away from the body and then you're going to pop up which gives you your spark plug the plugs not that's the coil this is the plugs themselves and then you're able to pick up and it'll pop and you can pull out your whole coil inside of there is your spark plug which you will definitely need which let's pull this out so you can have a look at this and how long it is there it comes and see how long that thing is and that's a coil of course you look down there is your spark plug uh, for the sake of the video you get your uh, 5 8 socket you plate you put it on your, your ratchet of course remove the spark plug make sure you pre-gap your spark plugs place your spark plugs back in he'll put your coil packet down and I want you to keep in, something in mind with this 1998 Toyota not all these coil packets are the same you see this one is is uh, 
this one's dual so in this model of vehicle which is the v6 uh sorry 3004 cam 24 by looking at these coils you would think it's a coil per spark plug but really it's not it's dual means one coil runs two spark plugs so there's only three spark plug coils on this particular engine this body and this wire here is what goes to the back to the spark plugs in the back okay so now that we've identified the coil which is a single or dual single would be just a coil and the wire connected to it but as you can see there would be a wire here or I took this off so a wire here and a wire there okay now that I identify this assuming you pulled all your wirings off and you forgot the firing order and you got lost somehow some way first I'm gonna tell you your engine is is sideways in your vehicle so that's the windshield and this is the radiator the front your engine is actually sideways so the front where you see your alternator the, the bouts which is called the passenger side will start with cylinder number one in the back so in the back it goes one three five and in the front they're evens two four six so let's do this one two three four five six now just because you see that doesn't necessarily mean that's your firing order so on my engine i use some carburetor cleaner or degrease not degreaser carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner i cleaned off the plate the valve cover the valve cover and uh, i went ahead and towards the front i drew an arrow for you put the word front so this is the front of the vehicle and so this is two four six and then of course in the back is one three and five all right now assuming you ripped off all the coils and all the wires this would be how you would reinstall your wiring and knowing where what goes where you'll put the coil in you'll put your butt connector terminal back on here's your wire you put your new plugs on your spark plugs are in it's your plug wires comes around to the back and you're saying well which one does it go in well for cylinder number two the coil which is dual means this wire is number five so this goes to number five in the back so remember one three and five so number two cylinder coil pack wire goes to no, the fifth cylinder in the back so that would be the the driver's side far driver's side that's number five and when you do number four cylinder in the front the wire that's dual will go to the back to cylinder number four i mean uh i'm sorry number one so four cylinder in the front the coil pack wire plug will go to the firewall um plug number one and cylinder number six in the front its coil plug wire runs to the back to num to the third cylinder so that would be the middle so let's have a, let's do this one more time i put my coil pack in I put the terminal plug, uh, clip, the plug. I put my my plug wire on, and I run into cylinder number five in the back. So two to five, four to one, and six to three. I hope this helps you out, and I hope you do everything as, as safe as possible. Enjoy this video. Oh, a bonus. Because of a, a misfiring or a lean condition on a cylinder. Lean means like you're poor. Rich means like you have a lot. So lean is a little. Rich is a lot. So it could be they're claiming this is a, a lean condition. So just to make sure, I also got another code that had popped up and it's telling me that it's bank one and so what that would be is that would actually be your oxygen sensor bank one this is what it looks like 
that's the old one you need a crescent wrench to get that on you put the crescent wrench on and tap it with the hammer slightly remember left loose right tight this is where it's located for bank one on your oxygen sensor here's your coil packs the manifolds is coming off and there it is on pointing right at it and so you stick a wrench right here your crescent wrench or the wrench of your choice once you're done loosening it uh, you'll follow the wire connection underneath and guess what I could have reached over I could have reached over the engine and pull this wiring out and there it is a clip now keep in mind because of fluctuating temperatures between the heat and the cold these plastics are very brittle and it ain't your fault that they snap but to the best of your ability be gentle so I hope this oxygen oxygen sensor will solve my problem or the customers problem after you have placed everything back in line before putting back your positive ba uh, battery terminal clamp get in your vehicle assuming that it's off your positive is off assuming it's off get back into the driver's side put the keys in the ignition and turn it into on you will have no power at all you would then proceed to start in it and nothing will happen because there's no power but what you're doing is you're drawing out the remainder power that's running around either in the ECU or uh, your PCM which will reset the codes in your vehicle on your check engine lights so once you stick the key in the ignition you do it two or three times turn it completely off pull your key out then come back and put the positive terminal back on your battery so then that reset resets all your codes now just because your check engine lights off doesn't mean that you solve the problem you will possibly have to get in your vehicle get on the highway not a regular street but more like the highway you're gonna have to drive it around for uh, I'm thinking about roughly seven minutes or so maybe longer to trigger a new code if the check engine light doesn't come back on well that solved your problem and or you did everything correctly I hope this video helps you out firing order um, spark plugs coil and plug wire coil order so two five Four one six three. Stay safe.